Nollywood is now a den of Yahoo boys and prostitutes. And this is coming from Vectra <coughs> Nollywood actor <coughs> Yemi Shulade. Um, he said, and I quote, because it would be better to read it as he said it. The Nollywood is not there right now. The Nollywood you see now is all encompassing. It's like an uncompleted building that is not guarded. And what you meet there would amaze you. It has become an all-commerce affair. Anybody can stroll in and, out and act. All the Yahoo boys are now there. All the prostitutes that you can imagine are there. People cannot even differentiate between the core professionals and this class of clowns who have infiltrated the association, but they didn't just fly in. Some people whom you refer to as core professionals brought them in. It's just so porous that anybody can become an actor. The entry point is so porous and annoying. It is a profession and it must be handled and treated as one. I am not really pleased with the state of the industry. It's a professional body and we must portray ourselves as one that has mastered the arts and the craft of profession end of quotes while i was reading this i was reading it in his voice because i <laughs> kind of know how he talks yeah but, i think um, <clears throat> i disagree with the part where he said that you cannot differentiate i think even us viewers we know an influencer and an actor we know when somebody has privilege and is just there because of her bomb bomb or because of you know she's really yeah or she's really pretty or the person's really has you can't tell when somebody's acting really bad um but for the for the uh, most part the conversation that he's bringing up is really important at first i was a bit like mm, should we really restrict creativity I think we've had that conversation we have as well. and i was thinking oh, should we re restrict creativity because the way this country is it's hard to to put professionalism into a lot of things there's a lot of people who work in banks and they didn't really study banking in school so mm. but then at the end of the day we the way he ended the conversation to then say that we, people that do get on screen should have at least mastered the craft i feel like that's what i took away from it so no matter what you study because we're in a context where that doesn't really matter i'm sure people are in fields where they didn't actually study no matter what you studied and the context in which the country is and blah 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 the fact that you do then get a role in whatever career that is i think that the level of seriousness should be put in shouldn't differ based on industry <coughs> should still be put into it so if you're going to actually get the opportunity whether because you want to be big brother Niger or it's because you have a nice butt you should still be able to like harness the craft and give your all to that role That's I, could, I, I couldn't have said it better but just to put some icing on the cake right um i think um it's not okay to generalize it as well saying it's yahoo because it's more like um what's it called now profiling the moment you see a person who does most of his things on the, on the internet and all of that, you just begin to assume. So you're telling me if I don't know it benefits boy. No, I understand. No, what? What's benefit boy? Because yeah, so. I've been trying to understand yes. that trend. Why do you act so old? What's <laughs> benefit boys are Yahoo boys? Uh, it's new. It's new. It's not, yeah. new. It's not an old thing. It's a new yeah, slang. Yeah, it's new. But I'm trying to because the jokes I only found out benefit boys this weekend when I went. The jokes jokes I've been seeing were related to old. Yeah, you just started like last week. How am I supposed to like? just started like last week now that's so, like so which one that's, is that's, old? A, that's our vibe now like we should know these things which things because we sleep on the internet if i make your points mm -hmm. <laughs> so back to what i was saying um i don't think it's okay to generalize it in as much as i agree with 90 percent in fact 95 percent of what he said considering the fact that even when abroad when you see people that are to be brought into movies like when mike tyson was supposed to act in hangover if he asked for months do you understand? Mm, that doesn't happen here. Do yeah, that know. doesn't happen. Do so the, the professionals react, react for months? Just to fit into that role and make sure that things are perfect. But you don't, you see, you see somebody trying to play a boxer and that person actually trains, becomes buff for that role and stuff. We don't see all those things happening here. Sometimes. Or sometimes they wear buff too. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, Hollywood is a vibe. And to be but honest with you, they set that standard themselves because you people who claim to be actors, I don't want to just Which is why anybody. I like where he said that it's also the professionals that have made it this way. So well, no, he's, not even, like, he's even talking about them bringing them in. Mm -hmm. But I'm even saying that they're bringing them in because they identify with each other they themselves have not put much in effort work. into acting now you can there's nothing wrong with them bringing somebody else's come and go it's come and do the same mediocre that you did if yeah, you were working your your behind behind off. off thoroughly in making sure that you gave the best you won't just bring anybody in because you know that the standard would, would reduce but they mm. go on their movies even this person that's talking you know, about i've but, seen but, some terrible acting um performances from him but mm. But also, the we have to give it up like to the 
new age, which is the internet age, where you don't have any excuse not to learn any craft anymore. It's different for me to have a certificate of something, and it's different for me to actually know it. So if by watching YouTube alone, I'm able to learn, I'm able to get thumbs up from different professionals that you're doing well, and you know within yourself that you're doing it the right way. Mm. I think it's a different thing. So saying that I need to bring a certificate, I think it just has to do with the industry. So when you're talking about professionalism in your industry, then I think you start thinking of about how to educate people in that same industry. Mm. But that's that's I, like, I like how I, Ifeo might put it in the beginning, actually, because he kind of um, watered it down a bit in a diplomatic way mm. and not sounding rude. But I, like you said, I'm not comfortable with the idea of labeling them Yahoo boys or prostitutes. Mm. Like, why exactly do you think they're Yahoo boys? Mm -hmm. Do you have proof for this? Or is it because you don't understand their source of income for the mm. longest time i know some people always tell me else what exactly do you do on the system every time are you a yahoo girl but there are a lot there are lots of things that you do on the system that is not necessarily um illegal you know so um i think he if, if you want to bring these people in especially being a veteran in the industry you also have to learn how to maybe be a veteran in the sense of being a father and understanding some things and not just staying in your archaic mentality mm. and thinking that everybody that is not in your set or haven't gone to a theater school cannot accomplish anything because like yeah. you said a skill can be picked up once you have the the wheel Passion. the willpower mm -hmm. to do it and which is what if i my saying in in sense that if you have gotten that opportunity to say you're getting roles and it's becoming like a source of income maybe mm. you should spend a lot more time if it's going to a film academy mm. if it's just a actually training. looking at videos mm. online mm. Or, or training yourself it's a good online long way too. i mean mm. I've, I, I saw a course that um, this lady we've had on the show over and like in bimbo akintola is having and mm. that's someone that was trained in the university of ibadan to actually be a theater art person so mm. she knows what she's doing look out for people like that and get the tips from them because you cannot say because I'm actually getting the road and I'll keep winging it. Then it means that you are not there for the long haul. Even you as yourself will be winged out mm. at some point because there will be somebody with more followers. Are, this is Big Brother Ninja. Another set of influencers and big names will come. They will mm. push you out if you're not bringing in something unique to the table. Mm. So I think um, they can have, <laughs> <laughs> they can actually have conversations and do better. Of course. And I think also to blow out the, blow out the conversation out of proportion to say that it's just the entertainment mm. acting industry is a bit um, naive. Yeah. Like just check around Modeling you. Too. Mod That's, you see, it's not yeah. you know, it's not even just the entertainment. Like there's people who didn't study banking and their uncle is in the management, whatever, and they'll learn if on the job. The bankers, you, we're talking about because I know I know somebody who is actually in that situation. Or should we talk about the oil industry? Like okay. most of the people who get into the oil industry mm, here, I, I just want to, to, to get to the all connections. Like they find people who industry. studied maybe media mm -hmm. and then they come back home and then their uncle will have somebody in Chevron mm -hmm. and they get a job and yeah, they're doing the media So so to me, like